Hi, it's Kim, and welcome to the Kim's Gardens and the Hypertufa Gardener. Yes, I'm going to talk today about my bug zapper, the electric bug zapper that I am using this summer behind my house. Here's a nice big close-up of the pile of insects that it's killed. This, I think, is probably over a couple days. I didn't get out there and sweep them up when I should have. But you can see all of the little moths and other kind of insects that are in there. I am not sure of all the types of insects it kills, but anything out there flying, and I feel that's uh, getting into my plants, is what I am trying to protect them from. Now, we're not out here too much after dark. I have it run for about five hours, and I put it on a timer. I put a link to the kind of timer that I use back on my blog post, but I set it to run for about five hours a night. Now look at all those little green bugs there. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're some kind of midge or one of those little things that bite you and bug you when you're outside in the dusky time period because that seems to be the time period when they're out most. Now I just have it on an electric cord, an outdoor extension cord. I don't put that porch light on at night, but it just is set to come on uh, at nine o'clock and go off at, um, let's see, it's two o'clock in the morning that I have it go off. And that seems to work. So I came out here late, 9.15 is late to me, and it, the camera doesn't show it as dark as it really seemed to be. But I sat out there for a period of time and listened to it and watched for zaps. Now there were a lot of zaps. It, it seems to catch more some nights than others. But it's just the weirdest sound to hear them basically fry. Because they fall down and they fry and they are toast immediately. Now, when I read about these bug zappers, it tells me that when that electrocution occurs, that the little body does basically explode. And so the little animal parts do fly around. And yes, they do in that little pile that's underneath. It kind of does widen and sometimes gets on the shelf. You'll see little wings, little legs. Who knows what other kind of body parts are all over. But at least I feel like the moths aren't getting among my plants, laying eggs, and then later the caterpillar will hatch and will start, uh, I don't know, eating the plants that I have. So I feel it's the better thing to do instead of like using insecticides. That's better for the environment, though it I know it probably kills a lot of good bugs too. Some good bugs fly at night And I know a lot of these pollinators, or the moths are pollinators. But still, I don't want them to lay eggs, and the caterpillars eat my plants. So this is what we're trying right now. And I realize it is up close to the house. It's not the best location, but we wanted to see if we wanted to use it before we'd put any kind of an installation in, a permanent pole or anything like that, a uh, little bit farther out, outside of the deck area. It is weird to sit and watch it overnight during these nighttime dusky hours. because that's basically when it's most active. Now I did edit and cut out some of the long silences. So 
so that we wouldn't have those all the time. But do you use these? Do you think they're very useful? Do you think it's cruel and unusual punishment? I am not sure which way I lean, but right now it's killing a lot of the bugs. There is a lot less now than there was in the spring, but that could be seasonal. Who knows? But it is strange to be out here in the dark and listen to all this. I'm quite sure by morning it'll be a nice mess to clean up. The ants have a fun time. Birds fly in. But when the morning comes and that sunlight starts shining here, then you can see the mess they've made in the floor. And just take a look at this. See that pile of the little charred bodies of the insects? It's really strange looking. They're all fried. Now apparently the ants still like them because the ants just trail back and forth getting them. The birds fly in sometimes to peck through them. I don't know if there's anything edible that they would still like. Now you can see a lot of things that do look like mosquitoes. So maybe it does kill a lot of small mosquitoes, midges, any kinds of annoying little gnats that would bother you when you're outside. But let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Now when I clean it up, I just kind of use a broom and sweep them all into a dustpan. Sometimes they come up more easily than others. I don't know if like some fluids leak out and it causes them to stick to the deck boards. I don't even want to think about that. But we have a little pile of charred remains that I put on this big large um, lid and set it on the deck rail for the birds to eat. And then if they don't eat it after the day, I just go ahead and sling it out into the grasses because I'm sure something might get nourishment from these. But what do you think of electrocuting the insects that bother you out on the deck. I'm not sure yet whether or not we'll go ahead to install some kind of pole and run electric to it or just use some kind of an extension temporarily. I'm not sure what I'll like. But this is what we're doing right now and that's what we're trying to combat these bugs that come in, lay eggs, and eat the plants. Maybe that'll help me with gnats this year, who knows? Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next video.